Hi everyone, how are you? And welcome back to another Minecraft video. So today I'm going to be building a zoo for every animal in Minecraft. But see, there's one minor problem. I already recorded me building all of the outlines and some of the enclosures for the zoo, but I lost the recordings. So yeah, that's a minor detail. But anyways, that's besides the point, and I also need to give credits because um, I got this idea from a YouTuber called Tootsie. I will have this coming up on screen right now. I will have the, her original video as well as her channel linked in the description down below. And also, um, for the cat enclosure, I did a cat um a cat playground design. Um. I kind of copied a bit from somebody else. Uh, I actually forgot what their channel was called, but I will make sure to re remember it, like check on YouTube and everything. And I will have their video and their channel linked in the description. And without further ado, let's continue building the zoo. Okay. So um, I'm just going to show you guys what I've done so far. So I did the LA enclosure here. Um, they're following me because I gave them totems. And um, I have the cod enclosure. Oh yeah, one is called Slick and the other one is called Clementine. And for the LA's one is called Hope. And what is the other one called? Let me see. Okay, what was it called? Yeah, oh yeah, Hope and Will, yeah. So those are the two, uh, names of the two LA's. So, um, so yeah. And then um, for the bats, they're called Sirius and Bertha. The bees, I have four of them. They're called Waxy, Stripey, Bianca, and um, Bellona. Yeah, that's it. And yeah, they're currently enjoying their time in this huge jar of honey. The Axolotl Children's Enclosure is a little pond. They're called Truffle and the Galaxy. The cats are called um, Pearl and Stone. And this is the cat playground design, uh, the scaffolding bit, and also um, the composter because they're like potty box and stuff. But anyways, um, I uh, also did the chicken enclosure and the cow enclosure. So this is the chicken enclosure and yeah you can see that guys and then this is the cow enclosure i put some wheat there and yeah anyways now i'm working on the dolphin enclosure and um i just put placed down some dirt so i could put the water in it so it stayed leveled uh, but as you can see we still need to break some of the dirt now so we are going to do that in a time lapse enjoy And with that, folks, we're done. Also, I forgot to show you guys the cabin enclosure. So there is Sandy and Humpy. They both have water. And I put green concrete powder in here to represent chewed up cactus because you can't put cactus next to any, you know, block. So anyways, now with that done, I think we ought to um, change the floor and we're just going to do that with a snap okay and now um i think we could add some detail just like that okay and i think we could add a bit of sand as well like that and um now i think we should decorate a bit with some corals okay um so i've been wondering if this is a thing one sec i'll just do a bit of coral okay it just it just puts seagrass okay i was hoping it would add coral fans for me but no such 
luck no such luck my friends no such luck unfortunately so yeah let's just do that in kind of because who wants to see me play stuff in real that time let's do this Okay, we are done with that, all the corn and everything. But I think we should add a few sea pickles because sea pickles are good. Okay, why? Maybe they can. Ah, uh, yes, okay. I don't think they can go. Oh, they can go inside. Okay, well, I don't know why that wasn't working. Hello? <laughs> I th well, I think that's all the kelp. <laughs> okay, um, maybe we should add in the dolphins now. Um, let me just get two name tags. Actually, I was thinking I could put four dolphins in here, and I do have the perfect names for them. So one is going to be called... Squeak. How do you spell squeak? Squeak. How do you spell squeak? Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Squeak. No, that's wrong. No. Squeak. Yeah, no, 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 no. Squeak. No. How, you know what? I'm searching that out. Let's just, I'm just going to do that off screen. <laughs> what? While I was searching up how do you spell squeak, I actually spelled it right. Okay, let's hope I don't forget now. Squeak. No! What's... <laughs> this is... Okay, finally! Okay, one is going to be called squeak. Another one will be called bubbles. And another one will be called... um. Let's say aqua, aqua, and the other one, last one will be called marina. Okay, so squeak is going to be a boy, and so will aqua, and then bubbles and marina will be the girls. Okay, so dolphin number one, welcome squeak to your new home. Dolphin number two, welcome Bubbles to your new home. Dolphin number three, welcome Aqua to your new home. And dolphin number four, welcome Marina to your new home. Okay, all of those dolphins are named. Come on, get up, get out Aqua. I think Aqua is stuck. How could... I didn't know dolphins could get stuck. And now let's just wait here to see if they will jump out and actually get some air. I don't want them to die. Hello? Jump. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. They're alive. Hello, wandering trader. Um, have you come to visit my zoo? You have? Okay. Well, anyways, that's all I'm going to be doing for now. Bye! Thou was a great friend. Okay, anyway, sorry about that. Arrow of the, I mean, no, try not to call a reference. But anyways, um, so I've done some progress on the zoo. Actually, I've done, like, quiet enclosures, like, goats and stuff. I'll give, like, a more detail to at the end. But right now... We are on the panda enclosure, which should be here, right? No, yeah, here. Okay, so um, this one is um, a bigger circle than the others because, like, pandas are huge. So first, I think we should add what the outline should be and all so yeah let's just do that okay done so um yeah i thought there was only fitting to give the bam the pandas a bamboo outline because well they love bamboo so i think next we should 
add some like trees maybe so i'm going to add mangrove and jungle now some of you might be wondering why i'm adding mangrove trees it's actually because um they actually fit quite well because like the leaves are really pretty colorful and like the correct biome see it's pretty nice and then i'll just put another one here since they are pretty big okay yeah um no okay i need to remove that okay yep that's pretty good. nice and of course we need to add some bamboo oh i didn't need to remove the bone so um let's just add the bamboo right here and now i'll add some oh okay well i can't go anymore i guess so yeah actually i think i'm just going to plant bamboo around that can grow as tall as it wants because i don't really care like this isn't for decoration or anything it's just to make the pandas happy i think i could also add a little lake preferably out of a tree but i would have to get a bigger tree so i add two other saplings over here oh okay it's working oh yeah okay that, it looks quite suspicious but we're not going to care about that so now if i add some water here then yeah okay it should slow but then if i just okay well wait never mind so maybe i shouldn't have done that yet let's just make the design of the lake first okay now i can add in the waterfall right about here would be good i think Okay, good. Now let me just make the water even. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. And now, um, let me just go near that water a bit. And the bamboo is growing pretty good. See, and now I'll add lily pads. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And okay, I should probably add some vegetation. Okay. I think for now the panda enclosure is done. If I find anything else to add, I will add it. So to conclude that, let's just add in some glass. Okay, we've added the glass. So now let's add in the pandas. And envelopes, what can name them? So it depends on what they look like because there are different types of pandas. So this one is the normal panda, I think. This one is also with a normal panda, okay. So I'm going to call one of them Mooney. And the other one is going to be called hmm, Roller. Because sometimes the pandas roll around, so Mooney, no, okay, Mooney, here you go, and Roller, here you go. I'm not going to give them cauldrons of water because they already have the lake, and they already have bamboo, so yeah. I think that concludes the panda enclosure, and uh, soon enough, and they won't be showing me is doing the palace enclosure because that's going to take a really, really long time. Well, maybe not really, I'm going to do it today. But, you know, so, yep, yeah, I'll be back doing more closures soon. Bye. I am back and ready to do more enclosures. So, now we are going to do the polar bear enclosures. Enclosure, I mean. So, um, first thing to figure out what the outline will be, because that's, like, one of the most important parts. So, I'll be back once I finish the outline. Okay, I'm done with the outline now. I made it chiseled quartz because it's kind of like nice and snowy kind of. I'm not just doing that polar bear sign. So the floor, of course, is going to be snow. 
So let's do that, shall we? Okay, then. So now, um, we, now that it's done, like the border and stuff, I'm going to add in the glass, and then I'll start in the interior decorations because um, I have some plans, and I think it will just be easier if I add in the glass first. So yeah, let's just do that real quick. Okay, we've done the glass now, so time for the inside decorations. So, of course, I'll add texture later on, but first, um, I wanted to add an igloo. So, I was going to use snow for it, but I thought I'd better like that creative or something because uh, it wouldn't look that good. So, I'm just going to use a smooth quartz block. This is like decent i've never built an igloo before so yeah i would have like followed like the structure of a normal minecraft igloo but polar bears can't fit in there so you know so i'm just going to add like i don't know maybe like a bit of a nest area so i'm just going to get some like path blocks Okay, now that we're done with the inside details of the igloo, um, I think that it's time to do add some detail and depth to the entire area. So yeah, I'll be back once I'm done. Okay, I'm done with the uh, um, like details and stuff. I mean, like it's nothing too fancy. But yeah, I think it's like pretty decent. I think the final touch is like to add some spruce because I don't know, just, oh yeah, I forgot you can plant it. So I'm just going to put some dirt down, I guess. Okay, I've done the trees, and now I think for the igloo, I think for the top, as I've added a scrub block, so I think it would be kind of cute if I added, like, some hanging roofs. Like, I know it's not really logical, like, in the foxes enclosure, where there were actually trees on top, but I just think it just look nice. Uh, I don't know, it just feel, it seems so cozy to me to have, like, hanging roofs. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good. So, yeah. Lastly, we just have to get in our polar bear residence. So I'll get the polar bears, um, name tags, and an animal. Okay. Let's see. Why is that one going to be called Snowball? And the other one is going to be called Poof. No, 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 actually. I think it should be snowy. Very original, I know. Okay. So now here is snowy and here is snowball. See? Quite identical, really. Very nice. And let's hope that they enjoy their area. And yeah, that concludes the polar bear enclosure. And let me know oh, what you guys think of it so far. What of the zoo so far in the comments. And I'll be back soon with more enclosures. Bye. Hello, everyone. I am back. And I'm ready to do some more enclosures. So um, I did the sniffer enclosure today. I tried to record it. But um, unfortunately, it did not save. So this is Sniffly, and this is Digger. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you guys love like the enclosure. Um, I actually hatched them from some eggs. So yeah. And what did you get? Oh, okay, great. Well, anyways, um, now we are going to be doing the snow fox enclosure next to the Nora fox enclosure, as you guys can see. So, yeah, I have been waiting for this for some time. So, let's get right into it. So, first, of course, um, I think we should block off this area with some glass. And I think maybe the walls could either, like, 
taste tone or like turn into some other block but i'm not sure like what sort of block like maybe i could uh i don't know i think it should just taste tone like this is kind of like cave vibes not like the other one where it's just like a den so yeah first i think so we should i might paint it well so i did not yeah, i'm not sure i'm not like sure yet but anyways let's um change the floor real quick now um yeah i'll be back as soon as i finish changing the floor <laughs> okay we've done the floor we've turned it into puzzle and i have unleashed our two resident snow foxes john and bella so um before i do some texturing on the ground i think i should change the walls i mean like I don't know, it just doesn't seem that nice. So yeah, let's change it. And then I'll also add a bit of texturing while I'm at it. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, I've, now that I've done that, um, I think uh, I should add a few um, like sweet berries. So yeah, um, let's add a few around here. Let's, oh, wait, let's see if they are smart enough to get that one. And I'll put one over here and over here. And one over here. And I think I should also add some hanging hang roots. Um, like under uh, some of the like rooted dirt, dirt and, or something. Well, no, not just not that many. Just like a few. Uh, sorry, that's my runny nose. I swam a few minutes ago, so. <laughs> um, oh, I need to break that. Um, uh, oh, oops, I didn't mean to break that as well, <laughs> sorry. Okay, um, I think this seems good enough. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to put the coaster down there. So, I don't know, I think it's like pretty decent. I'm, and then again, like, I don't know, I haven't spent like the longest time ever on this, but like I have a limited amount like of space over here. So I'm like, I did what I could. And also, um, you might have noticed that I haven't given um, the foxes like water or anything, like any of the foxes like cauldrons of water. It's actually because um, I'm pretty sure that they get all of their water from the juice from the sweet berries. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys um like the um snow fox enclosure. And yeah, let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. And yeah, I'll be back tomorrow doing the strider enclosure. Bye. Hello everyone, I am back and I'm ready to do the striker enclosure. And also I edited a skin today. Um let me know how you guys like the new skin. Um I'm pretty proud of it. Um it's my first time like actually properly editing a skin and like I did all of the inside stuff. I except for the hands because um I actually used the skin color from before, like I edited a skin, not like created it from scratch. So yeah, those bits are grey, sadly. But uh, we're going to do the strider enclosure. So um, for the strider enclosure, I have a bit of a plan. But of course, first we need to do the classic outline. So let's just do that now. Okay, done. So um, yeah, as you can see, I made the outline um, chiseled blackstone. And I have no idea why I even decided to use this because who even uses this in their beds? I mean, what face is this? Is this some like Mario thing? I have no idea. Oh wait, is it a snout or is it like a face? I have absolutely. Oh wait, I think it's a snout. Oh my God, why did I never notice this? Okay, but anyways, um, I think we should build up with um, some glass. Um, because like I have some plans, like maybe about like 
eight blocks up with glass because like i have a plan okay guys just trust me so yeah i'll be back once i finish that okay we've added the glass and now um, it's time to actually start on the decorations so obviously before we add the lava i am going to add um like a huge basalt pillar like not pillar but like mountain area where they can also go inside it so first i should probably um do the outline of it so um oh also honey's in the same room as me and she's also in the world right now so yeah honey say hi <laughs> Oh, right. Thank you. <laughs> you were supposed to say hi, but no. <laughs> okay, fine. But anyways, now that I'm actually, like, showing Oops. myself building the pillar or whatever, I'm going to tell you guys um a bit of a story. Not really a story, like, it's not the most interesting thing in the world, but this morning or afternoon or whatever, well, I don't know. So, um, now that we're in our beach house right now, uh, me and Hayne, like, we really like this frame, like, a lot. Like a lot. Okay, you know that's not the point. But anyways, um, so this morning, early in the morning, we swam and whatever, blah blah blah, all that boring stuff. But anyways, in the afternoon, we decided to sleep again. Yes, again. I know. I mean, no, not sleep. Swim, 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 swim. We didn't sleep. Okay, but anyways, um, so then um, we had to put on sunscreen, obviously. And yeah, so basically, um, first Hanin had to put sunscreen on me, okay? So um, first I put like sunscreen on my like legs and arms and I was like, okay, yeah, that's enough. And then I was like, wait, no, I need to put some on your back because I like always say I couldn't reach my back. And then I was like, um, Mm, okay, but then while she was putting it on, I just ran into the pool and yeet it. And she was like, yeet! And then, so yeah. Anyways, uh, eventually, I didn't manage to put sunscreen on my back, but it did take a lot of yeet. But anyways, um... What, anyways, later on, um, I had to put to help Honey put sunscreen on her back. So, yeah, that bit was interesting. So, basically, um, uh, so first, um, I asked Honey to squeeze the sunscreen on to uh, uh, my hand so that I could actually put some on her. So I was like, um, okay. So she like put the sunscreen on my hand, and um, okay. So I didn't say. So Hanin obviously didn't suspect. Okay, so as I was saying, um, so basically Hanin obviously didn't expect me to jump into the pool while having sunscreen on my hand. But of course, being the uh, um, type of little sister that does things that when people least expect it, I did. And but luck, but I held up my hand so Hanin could um, so like the sunscreen could be saved, but it still got splashed by water, so it was a bit soft. Yeah, when I jumped into the pool, but still, uh, yeah, I did that. And um, Hanin, uh, oh yeah, um, did I mention that each time I jumped into the pool uh, during that uh, time I said to eat? I don't know if I uh, mentioned that. But anyways, I did. So basically, um, yeah, eventually when I was about to finish putting sunscreen on Hanin's back, I of course yeeted into the pool again. Yes, of course, I did that. But anyways, eventually we all got our sunscreen on and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, so that was the story. Okay, um, and, yeah. and also, um, the last time when Rani got out of the pool, I was like, okay, if you, if you eat into the pool again, I'm not going to swim because it is getting quiet hot here. Oh yeah, that too. Even though that was some screen is 
Yeah. Thank you for me, son. But yeah, that's the story. Eh, anyways, now um, that I'm done with, actually done with the story, um, eh, yeah, I'll just finish doing this huge pillar thingy um, off screen. And yeah, I'll be back once I'm done with that. Okay, we have completed it. Um, I couldn't be able to merge for into the wall as I had hoped because then I would have to make the glass really tall and that would just look ugly. Anyways, I'd have to also have to put a roof soon because I'm sorry, just the church from the rain. And as soon as I turn back on the weather cycle and day cycle and whatever, it might rain and I hate to think what would happen to the poorest riders. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Why did I put a slash after? I don't know. Ye slashy. <laughs> oh, that would be so funny. It would. It would be awesome too. Anyways, I'm going to add in the um, entrance. So. Uh, okay. Maybe I could do this. And then I can add like some extra basalt over here just to make it look good. Oh yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And now um, from the top, oh wait, first, first up, first up, one sec, why do I have my arrow? Okay, so first I'm going to make a hole in the rest of the ground, one block deep, because I do not want to go through the torch of placing lava and more than one block deep. But yeah, then, um, well, I'll fill this hole with lava. Oh, so um, yeah, let's also, just break I the think, hole. I um, think one of us accidentally broke a glass block. Uh, okay. Over here. Okay, oh, hold on. Yeah, where's the glass block? Um, right here. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Thanks. Anyways, um, yeah, I should also just finish the hole real quick and add the lava and then I'll be back to add um, extra details. So yeah, I'll just do that real quick. Guys, we have finally put in all of the lava and broken all of the floor and everything. That was an absolute nightmare that I never want to go through again because it made me so dizzy looking at like the uneven lava, I swear to God. But anyways, now that we've added in the lava, it's time to add a few details. So um, for this, I'm just going to break this block. Um, okay, yeah, perfect. I need okay, finally, um, af after all of that um, pain and suffering, we got in two campfires, which is enough. I do not want to go through that nightmare again. Anyways. I thought I would put a tiny little island somewhere over here um, where they can just chill, I guess. No! Oh my god, I'm going to have to put more lava. And I hate to put more lava, so I'm just basically going to put land there. Okay. See, that crisis averted. Okay. So I'm just going to get some bone meal. Add the mushrooms. The only reason I'm bone meeting this is for the mushrooms. I need the mushrooms. Okay, no mushrooms at all. So um, I'm basically going to just place it, hand place it. Because the striders love this stuff, so they shall get what they love. Yes, striders are very spoiled that way. I agree. But anyways, um... I know it's not much to look at. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. How did this happen? How? How did it catch fire? How did the tree catch fire? Okay, I'm going to figure that out later. But anyways, that was the Strider enclosure. Um. So, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with another enclosure to do. Bye! Guys, this is it. We are down to the final two animals. So, what all that's left is a wolf and the zombie horse. So, obviously, wolf comes before... Uh, 
um, the zombie horse because like it, I'm kind of doing this in a bit of an alphabetical order. But anyways, I like seriously can't wait till I finish this because this is taking so long, like a month and a half. I have never spent this long on anything like Minecraft. So yeah, so um, I think I'm going to do the outline first real quick. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll be back once I finish the outline. Okay, we have done the um, outline. I made it out of bone blocks because my dogs love bones. And, well, most of them do at least. Uh, but anyways, um, oh yeah, I think I'm going to add, like, the second border. Like, it could either be glass or another block. So I'm just going to figure that out out in a moment so yeah i'll leave it once i finish that uh i'm second part of the outline as well okay i've added the glass and now it's time to um start on the inside decorations and then i am going to add some text trimming to the floor like coarse dirt path blocks pods stuff like that and then i'll add um like their like causes of water and some um like bones or like food in invisible item frames so yeah that's basically like my plan for the walls and closure but first we need to start on the like actual decorations like um for example maybe i'll add some vegetation but maybe i should do that after i finish the extra in the floor i'm not sure yet but um right now i'm going to do a cave so um i'll be I'll also be back once i'm done with that because um you guys don't want to see me in the process of making a cave because that does take some what some time actually so yeah i'll just make that um quickly no not quickly but yeah i'll be back soon okay i have finally finished the cave um one second let me just okay yeah much better no wait uh, let me just take that okay yeah sorry i'm still making a few adjustments but anyways um i'm going to add like texturing like buttons or something as pebbles but anyways that's the cave uh, i don't really know what to think of it but yeah, it's pretty cozy, I guess. So anyways, now I'm going to start on the texturing, which should take some time. So yeah, I'll also be back once that's done. And yeah, you guys should be thankful that you don't have to watch all of it in real time because this would take so long. But anyways, yeah, I'll be back once I finish all the texturing. Oh. Okay, we have um, finished texturing the ground and everything. Um, uh, I'll clean up the outside later. But um, anyways, um, I th should, we should probably give them like food bowls and like water bowls and like food we could like scatter food across the ground and stuff but um first i'm going to take um a small break because you know i can't do all of this at once so yeah i'll be back as soon as i finish my break and then i'll continue the enclosure bye okay so you know how i said that i would um just take a break and then continue recording it well, uh, I just decided to finish this off or continue with recording because I, well, you know what, I just decided not to, okay? I just can make my own decisions. So anyways, I spawned six wolves, or doggos as I like to call them, and yeah, so um, there is no grass to be seen. It looks well lived in, and yeah. Um, their names are one sec let me just yeah there's so so there's cloudy maximus poppy rosie bruce and um dexter yeah so those are my six lovely doggos they are very very cute and yeah so next we have to do the zombie horse the final enclosure the final enclosure guys i i don't know okay i don't know how to react to this but 
So I do this. Honey, hey, honey, I need some help making the decision. Should I make this on before some closure now or later? Um, but how long have you been on this computer for? Since I literally like just came on. Well, I don't know. I think you should still take a break. Okay. Well, you heard what the Hanin said. <laughs> I'm going to take a break and then do the zombie horse enclosure. Of course, I'm going to do it on screen because it is the final enclosure. Okay, sorry for getting your head at that. But yeah, anyways, it's the final enclosure. So I'm very excited, even though I don't sound like it. And then I'll finally be able to post some nice short videos. So yeah. I'll be back for the finale soon. Bye. Okay, this is it. The final enclosure. The zombie horse enclosure. I am all ready and refreshed. I just ate some homemade ice cream. Um, let me know if you guys want a video on that, like how to make it and stuff. But yeah. So, anyways, um, of course, this is the last time. I'm going to be doing it and closure in this whole entire zoo. Like, I never thought of that. But anyway, it's not time to contemplate. So first, I need to, of course, figure out what the outline should be. So um, I'll come back once I finish the outline. And yeah. Okay, I finished the outline. I chose warped stem because um, it's just it's like it looks like it's like an infection thingy. So I thought to like suit the zombie horse. And now for the second outline to make sure they can't escape, um, I'll do that real quick. Okay, I finished the second outline. I chose cherry leaves because I just wanted to be like quirky and unique. I, I don't know. It's just like this is the last one. I need to make it have a lasting impression. I just need to. I don't know why I just I just feel I just feel like I want to. And yeah. So anyways, um I think next um of course I'm going to be changing um the floor of it real quick. So um I'm just going to show you guys like how I figure out like what I'm going to ch change the floor to. For example, like I just need like what type of animal is it's kind of like a graveyard animal. I can't make it just puzzle just like I did with the skeleton horses over here. So um yeah, so I'm just going to um like I'm going to add some moss. I'm going to build new ones for like extra things, like just for the moss carpet and stuff. And I'm also going to add some coarse dirt, like obviously it's just natural. I'm also going to add some um, path, but I'm just going to use the shovel for that. So no, why do I keep spelling it wrong? <laughs> okay. And then, um, uh, that's not, hmm, should that be all? I mean, like, I guess I can add a bit of puzzle. So, yeah. And um, I'll be back once I finish working with this. And, yeah, enjoy. Um, just watching this past five seconds. Because this just takes quite, quite some time. So, yeah, I'll be back once I finish the floor. Okay, so obviously this isn't the finished product of the floor, but I thought that you guys might want to see a bit more of the process. So obviously first, like, I do the outline of, like, where each thing is going to go, and then I break out the inside of the outline. I don't know if I'm explaining this good enough, but then I fill in the block, it in with the block I want to, and then I look to see if there's, like, too much or too little of any block and in this case we have too little moss so i'm just going to bone meal it a bit um i think i should spread it um maybe spread it a bit towards the coarse dirt as well we want this to be a very mossy you see because i don't know it just seems like the zombie horses might like some moss so yeah most of this is just turning into moss yay um I'm just going to take a piece of moss and just put it with the coarse dirt so I can just spread it like that as well. Oh wow, now there's like nearly no pods left, yay. <laughs> Anyways, I just spread it. I think this is good enough. 
And now, um, this is where the struggle comes in. So now is the part where I like do some little path area. So I think over here will be a good place for nice path area, like to show where they played down. Like it was literally made for it. But anyways, um, I think I'll just expand it a bit more like this. It looks better that way. And like, like. The, oh no yeah like this and then um, i'm also going to add a nice little path area um over here um let me just break those stuff i'm trying to figure out some like a good shape i mean like that's part of like what you need to do so i think this is like decent i don't want it to be like that big so this is pretty good overall and yeah um i think i'm going to break some of the bushes not all of them because they look pretty nice but for example like those two see they're just going to let them escape literally so i'm just going to have to remove the ones that are a bit too close to the wall and also some of like those because it just doesn't seem natural for them to be so close to each other and this is the zombie horse enclosure. Of course, I need to add some vegetation, though. Like, more vegetation than this is. But what uh, by vegetation, I mean I'm going to add some um, trees. So over here, we have spruce, we have dark oak, cherry, and acacia. So let's look at the saplings that we have to work with. So, okay, so we basically have oak boring that's eliminated um i might do birch and um we have jungle birch or jungle okay this is i think jungle to be honest but i barely use uh, the birch saplings but i don't know it just doesn't seem like that very practical to do that so i'm just going to put a tree about over here oh i didn't know you could break a tree uh, put trees on moss cool well you learn something new every day um okay and now you yeah, let me go me oh wait this probably the okay i'm guessing that i um okay i'm just going to figure this out by myself because it's going to take a quite too much time on the screen i'll be back once i'm done okay i figured it all out and i put one big tree and two smaller trees um like this isn't one of my biggest enclosures but i mean like it's pretty good i mean like yeah so now i just have to add their powdered snow Yes, I'm not giving them water or lava. I'm giving them powdered snow because they're like dead. So I just thought it would be like suitable, you know. Also, how come? How is it that um they may how um the zombie horse and skeleton horses can actually die? I just think that's kind of unrealistic. But anyways, um, let's spawn in our two zombie horses. Um, I'll give them both names. So, one of their names is going to be... Guess what? Her name is going... Actually, his name. This one is going to be called Scraggly because their mane is all scraggly and stuff. I just love it. And then um, the other one, I think, is going to be called... This one's going to be the girl. So I could call her... Guess what? It's going to be a totally original name. I'm going to call her Apple. And no, I bet you nobody has ever named their zombie horse Apple. I mean, their normal horse, but not their zombie horse and yeah because she's the color of a green apple so welcome apple and welcome scraggly and that uh, it concludes the entire zoo the entire zoo this is what it looks like from above this has taken so long to build but anyways um I did promise you guys an uh, in-depth tour, but uh, this video has gotten way too long, I think. 
it takes so way longer to export and stuff so i'm just going to make a separate video after this giving you guys a nice tour of the zoo but anyways that has been the adventure um so yeah i hope you guys have an amazing awesome day never stop following your dreams that, because like i didn't stop for this no matter how long it took me so yeah i encourage you guys to do the same and yeah i love you guys all so much and yeah thanks for watching bye guys